and welcome to Board Games with Nirmas. This is Max here. Uh, we're gonna do a solo playthrough, Lost Ruins of Arnak, designed by Min and Elvin, published by Check Game Edition. The board is set up, we're ready to explore the uncharted island of Arnak. Game lasts for five rounds, and whoever picks up most points will be the most successful explorer of the Arnak island and will win the game. That's basically how it works. So, uh, we will do some different stuff here in this, but it's sort of a deck builder. We will buy some different artifacts and items uh, to use our in our hand. So each turn we will have five cards, where we can use the cards in different ways. Uh, they have to show you, uh, take this one, and oh, it's only one artifact, so easy, right? So if we play a card, we can either use the symbol uh, on the card, to visit locations that match the symbol. Uh, we can also use the effect of the card instead. So we can either use it as a symbol or as an effect. This is the cost. This is what the end game points are worth. And if you go for an artifact, you have the same effect. You have a visit location. This is an airplane, means you can visit anywhere. If you have one symbol, of course, you need to have two to go to the, those locations. And the first time we buy this one, we're going to pay the cost down here. We can use this effect for free. The next time we play the card, we need to pay the cost here, which is a tablet in most cases, to get the effect of the card. So the, these, these two words, the items and the uh, artifacts, work a bit differently in how they are played. So when you acquire an item, you put it at the bottom of your deck. So then there's a card here, large backpack, where you could draw a card from the bottom of your deck. So you can, yeah, you have to learn how to use that. So it's, we're going to build our deck a little bit. Our starting deck is two exploration, two funding, and two fear. So this is my starting hand I drew here. Uh, so that's perfect. So on our turn, uh, we can dig at a site. That means basically we're paying a card uh, with a symbol matching the location we want to go to. and any location higher up or any symbol, as in indicated here, airplane, car, boat, can be a boot. An airplane can match both a um, car and a boot as well. So we can play a card, place our worker, and do the action at that site, or pick up the reward of that site. The next thing we can do is basically discover new sites. What we do then is we need to go out here and deeper into the island, pay the cost of the compasses to find the way, we add the guardian if to that site. So we're going to add a guardian here. I'm going to show you one. Basically, it looks like this. So you add, uh, this is the cost to overcome the guardian. You need to discard a card, money and an arrowhead to overcome this guardian, but then you get an effect where you can discard or burn a card from your deck. So these are have a different rewards and different kind of costs, basically the, the guardians. So yeah, and then we can of course buy an item here. We can pay the cost, money or compasses to buy a card. We can play a card uh, and it's a free action if we wanna use this symbol here. So we can pay the card just to, to get a compass, get two compasses and then we can do an action basically. We can also research, we can uh, move on this track here, uh, where we go with our magnifying glass or our book, uh, paying the cost uh, to pass this location and collect any rewards, depending on if it's the magnifying glass or the book. There's also some bonus rewards in some locations. Important rule here is you can never be, your book can never be ahead of your magnifying glass, but it can be at the same space like this. So. And then you get, of course, the points here, depending on how far up. When you go here, you can place the magnifying glass in this location, and then you can pay the costs here to collect, go even further up if you want to in these, uh, in the pyramid here, and you get a bonus uh, revealed, re revealed a, a specific reward. And then, of course, the last action you can do in your turn is to pause, and then basically you're out of that round, and then you won't be able to do any more actions until the next round. 
and in the refresh phase then we we will uh, do some things uh, moving the staff so we keep track of what round it is uh, in the solo mode you play versus the sort of um, I don't know what to call it, but a solo mode where you flip uh, one of these tiles. You take the depicted action on the tile, and each round the solo mode will go through each of these locations. Or each, sorry, not locations, but uh, each of these tiles. And do the action if it's possible. If not, uh, they will just move on and reveal a new tile, or it's my turn again. Uh, so they have six here. I, I've taken the liberty to use black um, pawns instead of uh, using the separate different not used colors in the game because it's easier to keep track uh, but it's just an add-on I've done on my own. One thing you can pick up is assistance uh, that here you can see uh, you pick up one of these assistants that will give you a reaction basically so you take this one you put it on your player board and you use it to exhaust it or use the action to pick up the reward. And what you also can do with these monkey idols when you pick them up is uh, you collect the reward on the on the front, you flip it, leave it on your player board, and it will give you three points at the end of the game. These will also give you points at the end of the game if you don't cover them up, but if you do, with the monkey idol, you get to choose one of these uh, free actions here. So you can use this as a free action to collect some items you might need to perform something but you will also lose the points here so that's a pretty interesting mechanic i think it's it's uh, fairly fun to evaluate if how you want to do it so we're about ready to go i don't think it's that much more to go through yeah well i mean this is a playthrough it's not a how to play so i probably will make mistakes uh, but i'm hoping not to most of the things will be more clear when i do the actions uh, or do things when I, while i'm playing so um Let's get started. I just collect my starting resources, which is a coin and a compass. Uh, and then the in the solo mode, the solo bot always goes first. So that's a good, simple way, right? So in this case, it's fairly simple. Uh, they will place uh, Explorer. So go uh, dig at a site, in this case with the arrowhead. So this will, they will basically block that location, so I can't go there. Okay, my action, I think I will make use of the fear cards, uh, which is something you pick up. They give you a minus point at the end of the game, so you do want to get rid of them. Uh, they do have no effect whatsoever, apart from the, the, exp the where you can go uh, dig at a site. So they have a boot, so that's perfect. You can still use them, that's pretty good. Okay, one thing I forgot to explain before is also, uh, this is my hand, and just so you can see all the cards. And this is going to be called my play area, which is um, where I put the discard piles and if I buy cards artifacts that will go into my play area and uh, if I buy items that will go on the bottom of a deck like I said before so when I play this I will put this in my play area so I'm going to use the symbol to send one of my um, explorers to this location I think I will lay them down that's good right and collect two compasses so that must my simple turn uh, we're going to do the solo again so we go here this is the same here, but they go and block this location, right? So it's easy. My turn again, and I'm thinking I should buy a card. I do like this one, uh, tablet and arrowhead for a compass. That's fairly good. So I'm going to buy the pickaxe. Costs uh, one coin. Uh, put this one at the bottom of my deck. I slide this over and refill. Ooh, that's a good the carrion pigeon. It's nice. See if we can get that one too. So my action is done, and I go here, and they were supposed to go visit this location or they get this site. But since I'm blocking it already, they won't do anything. I like the carrion pigeon. Uh, these tablets will be used, like you see, in many places here, and also to pay for for artifacts when you're using them. So as a free action, I will use this to get two coins. I won't bother taking them because I'm going to buy, that's my main action, I will buy the, the carrier, carrier pigeon. Put this at the bottom of my deck. And reveal a parrot, so it's a, like a bird theme here, it seems like. That's a different one. 
this symbol here means that I, oh, I'm going to show you here, of course, it's easier to see. This symbol here means that I use as a card. So I put a card from my hand into my play area without doing anything with it. So I'm just using the card basically as a, to pay for the cost and I get one of these red uh, jewels. Okay, you see the uh, solo mode goes exploring. So they move up one and you can see the arrow here pointing in this direction, which means that they go here. And they collect the leftmost assistance. So just basically removing it, placing it in the, in the, the area. And that's their turn. I want to go discover new sites. So this is anywhere above here. I paid the three compasses to go basically travel to this area or finding the area. Uh, and then I take my little dude and then now I can look at these and see which one I would prefer. This is fairly good because I have a fear card in my discard pile I can get rid of. I do have a boat or a car so I can go wherever. But I do kind of like that. So I'm going to go here. I collect this one as the reward. I get to this uh, banish a card from my deck. So I'm just going to put it back in the fair. And I used the picked up the reward. So I'm going to flip this one. So now it's worth three points. I will reveal one of these. So let's see what we get. Uh, fairly simple, straightforward. We get the red jewel. So we place this one here. We get the red jewel to our playboard and then we reveal a, a guardian this occasion and here we need to pay three tablets to overcome this guardian but as a benefit then we will also get a fly action basically so put this one here now i can overcome the guardian at this location as an action as if i have those three tablets Okay, the solo mode will block the money location. There you go. And now I have the possibilities. I will definitely use these ones just to get them, get the two compasses. But I'm thinking if there's something else I could do. Because I used all my, maybe I should place this one down again. Um, so I can't basically do anything more. I can could get the stone jar which means draw another card. That's a fear card, I know that, because I have two each. Okay, um, let's do this. This is, we use this as a reaction, so I'm gonna discard this to get a compass. I am gonna use this as a free action as well, so I'm gonna move this one up here and take an arrowhead. Now I can Either go up here, paying the red jewel to get one coin. I can go here to, if I want to. So I'm more intrigued to go like this with the magnifying glass, collecting the reward, which is one coin, That's my action. Because the other ones are free actions, right? Playing that one and doing this is free action. So now it's the solo mode again. You see what it does? It will um, buy the most expensive highest point value item or art artifact so this basically means it's just no item sorry this was an item uh, so two 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 okay then we look at the arrow which means it's it's going to pick up the parrot just for points and not going to use it for anything else then we refresh a revolver oh just spend one compass to overcome a guardian that's pretty neat four coins though expensive okay Oh, uh, I forgot to pay these ones, right? Ah, sorry. Uh, so now I can, uh, I can actually, that's pretty nice. I can spend my jewel to move my magnifying glass up here, collect this coin reward. And I also get a compass. That's my, my action. And now we go to the solo mode which will block the tablet location which I can't do anything else so it doesn't really matter let's see if there's anything useful I can do okay I'm gonna play this one though so I'm gonna play that one just as a reaction 
collect the compass. Then I'm gonna pass. So I'm not gonna do anything else this this round. So we're just gonna go through with what the solo mode does. This is uh, they will if if they are at the location where there are is a um, uh, guardian, they will overcome it. If not, they will move up here. So we look at the arrow. They will come. No, they can only go. Sorry, this way. So they will remove this one. Um, and the next one is gonna be they're gonna pick the lowest point artifact, which is they're gonna pick up this one. Then we're gonna refresh. And the last action is that they will reveal one of these tiles. So not no arrow now. So we're just gonna flip this one and see where it goes. It goes in the leftmost lower point here. So they will pick this one up. I'll explain that and reveal this location. Now, if it was in the uh, uh, second round, they would also reveal a guardian, but since it's first round, they won't do anything else like that. But however, they pick this one up, uh, and as long as they can place it in this here, they will score three points. If they pick up another tablet, they will put it here as a minus one point instead for each one that they pick up that they already have. So they want to uh, sort of pick up as many different as possible. Okay, so uh, so we're at the uh, end of the round. So for the next round, now we will do a, a little maintenance here. So we will return all our. I'll just pick these ones up first because they're easier. And then we'll explain. So I will pick up this one guy. Nothing happens, but this guy he's with the guardian. So for that, because I didn't defeat the guardian, I will receive a fear card. I will place in my play area. Now I will shuffle all the cards in my play area and place them at the bottom of my deck. If I had any uh, assistance, I would refresh these. And then I will exile the cards around the staff. So this one goes here and this one goes here. I move the staff one location and then I refill uh, the card row. So we get a, a mortar and we get a coconut flask. And then if we were more, we I would, I'm gonna shuffle these ones because uh, that's gonna happen, right? So instead of popping the first play marker, uh, we just shuffle the solo. Oh. Here we go. And then I draw up to my hand size. So now I know I will get my new cards. So we get funding, we get a fear, we get two fear, and we get our pickaxe, and we, so we hopefully we can get some tablets right now uh, to maybe overcome the guardian or something different. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what the soul mode does. It uh, oh, it will um, discover a new site. So we look at the arrow once again, lower here. It will pick this one up and place it here. They don't collect the rewards on these locations, but they didn't have this one, so they placed there. And since it's the second, they will also uh, reveal a guardian, that location. And here we need to spend an aeroplane symbol and an arrowhead uh, to overcome that guardian. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I have an idea. Let's spend this card to use the car symbol to go to this location here. Or they get that site. Uh, we get one new card and we get an arrowhead. Then we need a airplane, which we don't have, but we can hire a pilot or oh we can well, I, I have to wait. I did my action, right? So I'm gonna do the solo mode, which is they're gonna go and block that location arrow head location now i can do overcome the guardian so i'm paying two points to to hire a pilot and i'll spend the arrowhead so i overcome the guardian now i get to use the action whenever i want to as a free action to the boon i think it's called a boon uh, from this guardian so i get to um exile a card from from my play area so i don't want to exile this one but i'm going to use it when i get one of these fear cards in there 
So, and that also, of course, it gives uh, five points at the end of the game for each um, guardian you overcome. And it's the solo mode. So they go in here, they're gonna explore, they go up and they pick up the assistant. This term, it's the one to the left. Or yeah, left. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a very straightforward. I do wanna pick up those tablets um, right here. Cause we're gonna need to have some of these ones blocked the arrowhead before I could pick that up. That's a shame. Could also go here, draw another card, get a tablet. No, oh, let's do this. Let's go and pick up some compasses here. Uh, so we go and pick up two compasses. We also need to pay the boot symbol. So we're going to use one of our fear cards here. And now I'm going to use this as a free action. I'm going to use the boon of the, the guardian and exile this fear card out of my deck. So oh, the solo mode goes here. Lucky us. They won't do this action now because they I'm blocking that location already. So it was good timing on that one not to wait this turn. Now we can play this card to use the effect of exchanging one compass to one tablet and one arrowhead. So that was my action. I'm going to the solo mode, they go here and they're going to block the money location. Okay, I think we have, I have a plan. I'm liking this one. I'm going to spend three compasses to buy this artifact. I'm going to show you the effect here. Uh, so for now, for the first time, I don't have to pay the tablet cost here. Uh, but if I'm, when I'm playing it again, I need to pay that tablet cost. So I get two coins right away. And I can use the effect on the silver side of one of the available assistants down here. So I was, thinking to get another compass. Like that. So this goes now into my play area because it's used. And then we go into the solo mode. They will block the jewel location here. Okay, so we have a very pretty pointless card here. We're not going to be able to use this one. So but I can get another coin, which is good because then I can buy something. Let's do this first and see what happens. Oh, before I forget, I should also refill here, right? Uh, so almost forgot that. Okay, um, we can get one more coin if we want to buy an item. We can play this one to get tablets. Let's... Mm, no. Let's do this. Paying the compass and the arrowhead to move up our book one level. Uh, now we get to choose one of the available uh, assistants here. So I'm going to choose this one, place it in my play area. Then it's the solo mode here. They will go and block this location. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to use the free action. So I'm going to get one coin. I'm going to use this free action here to get two tablets. And then I'm going to spend my coins. To buy. I'm going to get the chronometer here, so I'm going to pay three. To buy this one. Uh, which is either I can use it as a free action or I can use the two boat symbols or I can pass to gain three compasses. I think that's pretty good. So putting this at the bottom of my draw deck, refill. Oh, that was a good one. You can exile this card to gain three compasses. Anyway, okay, so it's solo mode. They will pick up the most valuable or highest price point, highest point value on the artifacts. In this case, it's a tie, so they will pick up the one to the left. Refill first. 
and then they're going to pick up the item which has the lowest point value in this case it's a tie between all of them so they go to the furthest left pick up the card refill and as there oh i forgot mine but i'm not going to do anything i'm just going to put this uh, in my discard pile and as their last action they will defeat oh maybe i or they will move the magnifying glass once again it will just reveal a tile they will go here move this and then they're done okay that finishes up the round and we return all our little dudes no fear this time because there's no guardians i am that's nice shuffle all the cards in my play area i didn't use my assistant that was stupid so i refresh it anyway um advance we exile these two cards move the staff fill up with more artifact we draw our five cards for the next round and we shuffle the solo tiles there we go good to go again so we start with the solo mode they will advance up with their magnifying glass and they will pick up this assistant or remove it more or less we're going to use it anyway on our turn let's see what we can do here now we have pretty we can get pretty much tablets um so maybe we should go spend some time here to get a jewel and um, to overcome that guardian maybe or maybe we yeah we do want to get some magnifying glasses hopefully to be able to discover new site maybe okay so let's do this we're gonna go visit they get a site so we're gonna pay to get the car send our dude here makes us allows us to draw another card and we get an arrowhead and the next this is all about they will go block the money location now it's our turn again i do want to use the fear card for something but okay so let's start by uh, we're going to move our magnifying glass up here so we're going to pay two tablets and one arrowhead to move up here gives us a reward of a compass it's good so we get the solo action will be to Pick up the most valuable item in this case it's a tie so they will pick the machete because it's one to the right and then we fill up with an axe so let's uh, see if we can go and um, discover new sites we need to play this card we get free if we get a compass we use the free action on this one so we get one coin and one compass that means that we have three compasses now to go and discover new sites we pay those right away uh, and then we have a boat so i think we're going to use this boat to go at any of these locations i'm thinking that we go here where there's money yeah so we get one coin as a bonus reward for the monkey idol and we reveal the location which gives us an arrowhead and a tablet oh, fairly good and then we reveal a guardian as well that needs a lot of cash he likes money so a good thing we have money now but we only have two maybe we can find a way to get some more okay the solo mode goes and blocks the tablet location uh, let's do another exploration here with our book so we pay one tablet one arrowhead to move up here it gives us a new uh, assistant so i'm thinking we're going to pick this guy up and we're going to use him right away 
so that means this allows us to draw a card like this but we also need to uh, to spend the card so just spend that fear card that was good use of it no that's the solo mode they will pick up the lowest price or lowest point this is the traders coins put them there refill and then it's our turn again now we can uh, eat one more coin though to i was thinking about going there to overcome that guardian how can now we can get one more coin let's spend this one to get one coin it's a free action we're going to move up our monkey idol here to pick up a coin and a compass And then as our main action, we're going to spend the four coins. Spend them back to overcome this guardian. And this has a very special action or um, a bonus action here, which means you can upgrade a tablet to an arrowhead or an arrowhead to a jewel. as a, as a boon from that uh, guardian. But a good thing also, we didn't get a fear card now again. Which we get managed to get lost, uh, lose two of them. So okay, let's see. It's a solo mode. Okay, so oh, let's put this one. Okay, um, we have this carrier pigeon. Basically, it's not so useful to us. We can use it as a reaction to get those tablets. We're gonna do that at least, and we're gonna use our assistant. So we get one more tablet. We forgot that last time. And then I'm, we can't do that much more. That's our that's the main action. So my main action would be to pause. It means that we go over to the solo mode and they will reveal these ones until they are finished. They will uh, overcome a guardian at the location. But now they are now. So they will move up the magnifying glass to this area. They will block the location, but I'm not going to do that because I'm all done already. Same thing there. Here, in round three, they will discover an, or a, a new site. This will go to the leftmost location, so it will be here. They don't have that coin, so it's good for them. And we're not going to reveal any guardian. So as the last action, they will also block this one, but I won't do that. So, okay, uh, refresh again. Um, taking all the, our dudes back, I'm going to shuffle my cards. I haven't built my deck that much. Um, this I should try to do that a little bit to get it better. Uh, refresh assistance. Uh, exile these cards. So revolver and the serpent's gold is exiled. Remove the staff. We refresh. This row, I think it's a very funny way because it sort of symbolizes that you get deeper and deeper into the dig, you find more artifacts, but you lose, you're getting further away from the items. I think that's pretty cool. We draw our hand size, draw our five cards, one, two, three, four, five. And we get these cards. And then we start with the solo mode, revealing, digging a new site. Something I forgot actually is I'm gonna do this. Now we go in the leftmost location again. So we're gonna put it here. We're gonna place, I think I forgot to do this, but it doesn't have an effect to the guardians anyway, but now it could actually do that because we're gonna reveal a guardian here. And this now they already have the tablet, so this will end up here. I think I have a fairly good first action here. I'm going to use this coconut flask. So play the card. I get two coins. I need to pay a tablet now this turn. So I'm paying one tablet. And then I can use the effect on the silver side here. So I'm going to use this one to get another two coins. Pretty good. And I'm thinking maybe to, this is a free action. I'm going to use this one as well, so I don't forget it. I'm going to upgrade one of my tablets 
to an arrowhead. Okay, the solo mode goes and blocks the compass location. And we're going to use our resistance here, so free action. We're going to remove this card and then we're going to draw a new one. Better, I think. So that was a free action. Let's see what we can do more. I think we have this one's good. Uh, let's see what we need here. Okay, let's, let's do this. This is uh, pretty useful, I think. We're going to use this one guy first. Get a tablet. It's a free action. We're going to pay two tablets and one arrowhead to move our book up here. That means that we can upgrade one of our assistants and that pizza becomes refreshed. So we're going to use that guy right away as a free action to get one coin and one tablet. Solo mode, they go and block the arrowhead location. Okay, I think I have an action here that I want to do uh, before it's too late because I think this could be very valuable. Next round is the last round. And yeah, I'm going to draw that card so I can exile this card, hopefully in some way, to gain three compasses. So I'm going to spend one coin to buy this. The rough map, putting that at the bottom of my draw pile. Draw deck, we'll refresh and find an automobile. Solo mode goes and blocks the jewel location. Okay, let's use our carrier pigeon to do as a free action so we get two tablets. That's a free action. The main action we're gonna pay a boat to go to this location here, where we pick up a jewel. And that's our turn. So we go solo mode, they pick up the higher value item, which is this one, they're gonna get a car, and, or sorry, an automobile. A whip, that seems very Indiana Jonesy like Pretty cool, excited this car to buy a, oh, that's a nice one. Okay, we will now at the location where we can um, overcome the guardians. We're going to pay three tablets to overcome this guardian. And now as a boon, we have the uh, aeroplane symbol, which means that's fairly good. We can go to basically to any location we want to. But first, let's do the solo. They will block the money location. Uh, thinking, going exploring a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to spend tablet and the jewel to move our magnifying glass up here. We get the coin. And we get, oh, there we go. Get the reward of a compass. Nice. So now it's a solo mode. You're going to pick the lowest value artifact, which is the guiding skull. Now we're going to refresh. Okay, I'm possible here for me to go this and move up here to upgrade my second assistant. That could be good. We do can get a new compass, which means that we can also go with. Yeah, we have the aeroplane, right? Well, let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. So we're going to use this free action to get a compass. We're paying our three compasses to be able to discover a new site. Uh, we use this, the, the boon from the Guardian as an aeroplane. That means that we can go to uh, any location here. So we're getting this one, which means that we get to refresh one of our assistants. And leave this one there. And then we're going to reveal the site. Uh, scary place seems like because I get a fear card that was not 100% perfect. But anyway, we get a jewel and a compass. That's fairly good. And we're going to reveal a guardian. This one needs 
a compass and two boot symbols and we get to exile card might be good perfect hopefully to utilize with the, the card we bought here it is so that's my action and we go to the solo now they're gonna defeat this guardian here or overcome this guardian if you have the location so they're just gonna flip this one and get five points use this card action here so i'm gonna use this card so i'm gonna exchange this compass for a tablet and the arrowhead so that's my action now it's a solo mode they will go discover here getting high up so a lot of points and they will take the leftmost assistance assistance away okay we are able to do some action here we could either go up here to get one compass with our magnifying glass or we could go up here which means that we can upgrade our assistant i'm thinking that's a better way because then we still have the jewel left also so one coin one arrowhead and one tablet to move our book up this way means we can upgrade our assistant and we can use that one right away to see what happens because we get another card just a coin so now it's the solo mode's last action they will block the tablet location but it's fine okay we have one more coin we have the possibility to explore maybe we should do that that's pretty good yeah so let's do that as an action we pay the jewel and the coin we get the compass as a reward let's see how many cards do we have in here we're going to draw these three and we're going to draw two more so i'm thinking maybe we should buy something we will i can do this if i don't forget it as well that's a free action the solo mode is done for this uh, round i can also do this but i will lose three points but it might give me something useful uh, i have four coins so i could get actually both of these cards if i want to i could get one first because that's a good card to combo with the one i have here where i can exile it to get compasses so i'm going to get that one i'm going to spend two coins to buy the axe put this at the bottom of my deck then we refill and yeah that's also pretty good gives us two coins first let's let's um i'm intrigued by that one but let's when just realize that we we can exile a card here and we have a fear card or two actually we can get rid of uh, by defeating that one so we're going to do this we can move this one up here it might not be the best in point wise but it's fun to reveal a card it's good because now we get two symbols that we can use for this one because it requires two boots and a compass so paying the compass and the two symbols to overcome this guardian i'm going to save the boon of this guardian maybe use it next round if needed instead so let's see um, because i do want to use to exile the card that I, that I bought before it gives us three compasses so the solo mode is done like i said we have possibility to maybe do something more or are we done now we would need more here to go any one of these we can't really do anything else so yeah that sums up the round so let's go for the uh, returning all the dudes back shuffle my cards put them at the bottom exiled i was going to buy that one but i did not do that so i'm going to exile that one now we move the stuff so now we're in round five i'm going to fill up with more artifacts and see if we get something that's fun here we don't get that many compasses though but let's see we're going to shuffle these ones and then we're going to start with the final round to see what we end up so let's reveal the first one which is they're going to block the arrowhead location simple and action and i, I forgot some i need to of course refresh and draw my hand sorry one two three 
Oh, but that's a fairly good draw, I would say. So let's see. Yeah, let's start with the simple things. I think we're going to use our assistant here to draw one more card. And we got this good combo here that we can play this to exile a card. But I'm thinking we might going to use that location first, though. So because we do want to pick up a jewel to move any one of these. So I'm going to play this one. I think this is I'm doing it right now. I'm hoping that using the boat to go to this location here. Oh, sorry. Let's go ahead and do that. We get the fear card. We get a compass and we get a jewel. That's our action. Then we go for the solo mode. They want to pick up the highest point. Well, it's easy. It's only one. So we pick that one up. Let's see what comes up. Maybe it's something sturdy boots. No, not really going to use them, I think. So now I can play this card. To get a compass and also then exile a card in my play area. So I'm going to exile this one, of course, to get three compasses. Now I have a lot of compasses here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, the solo goes and to defeat or sorry, overcome a guardian, but no one at the location. So they will move up with their magnifying glass to that lock that final location. If they move further they're up ahead now, they will pick these ones up, and get more points. I'm gonna do this. I, yeah, I think it's more fun. I'm gonna play this as a free action to get the compass. So now we have six compasses here. So I'm gonna go discover new site at the higher locations here. So I'm gonna spend my six compasses. I'm gonna pay this, this these two boats on this card. Uh, so I will reveal one of these at here. I can this uh, exile a card. I get a tablet. I'm gonna go with this one. So, oops, reveal this one. I'm gonna place my dude. I get two tablets and a jewel. Very good. So, bonus here, I get to exile a card. I'm gonna exile my fear, fear card. I that was okay. And then I'm gonna see this is a compass. That's pretty good. I mean, maybe one. Then these are collected, so I still can use one free action. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna I collected the reward for the location. I'm gonna reveal a, a guardian. Yeah, we might be able to fix that one. Let's see. Okay, we're going to the solo mode. They will go up, so they will collect one of these. Oh, sorry, the one here. So they're going to collect this one. And an assistant. Okay, I think for my action here, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to pay a compass and a jewel to go here to explore. So I get this one more card. And I also get one more card. And then it's a solo mode. They will go and block the tablet location. And uh, yeah, I'm going to use these. So I'm going to use a coin and a jewel to move my book up here to collect the reward of three compasses. Solo goes and blocks the jewel location. And let's see. We're not going to be able to use this one for anything, but we can. Okay, now we need an arrowhead. We need arrowheads, basically. How can we get some arrowheads? We can use this one to get one arrowhead. Let's uh, now let's hold this one. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, let's spend three compasses to buy this war mask here. Doesn't give you give a point, but it gives me an arrowhead. I need an arrowhead. And I don't get any fear cards 
for not overcoming uh, guardians this round so i'm just going to keep that one a little separate here so you won't see it but it will be there just so keep that in mind which is good now it's a solo mode so they will oh they need to refill first sorry uh they will peel, pick the lowest value oh, which is the one just refill and then refill again let's see hopefully something yummy comes up here whoa it's a big reward okay so it's our turn again yeah we're going to spend two tablets and an arrowhead to move our book up here we can collect a artifact card without paying anything for it we're going to get this one let's admit draw up the two cards from the bottom of the deck keep one and discard the other draw two cards one is a fair card so easy I'm gonna keep my pickaxe refill and it's the solo mode turn they will block the money location and back to me and I think that was a fairly good pickup with the pickaxe. Uh -huh. No pun intended. So I'm going to use this one as a free action to uh, get a compass. I'm going to leave that one because I'm going to play the pickaxe right afterwards to get a tablet and an uh, arrowhead. So that was my main action and the solo mode will reveal a second location. See, I did wrong. I was going to reveal. And it's the one to the left. So the they pick this one up they already have this one also so there you go and they're not going to reveal any that's okay that was a fairly good location to go to anyway okay let's see i think we're going to have to do this um we want to go up here get a compass and we can get that about the how can we get a jewel we can yeah, okay, let's do that. So we're going to spend our coin to get a jewel. That's a free action. We're going to spend a tablet and a jewel to move up with our magnifying glass. Oh, we can't. No. Bad. Okay, then, then we're going to do this. We're going to spend this one to get a coin. Then we spend the tablet and the arrowhead. To go up here and we get one compass that's our action our last solo action is to block the compass location that's my second action uh, here i will uh, will move up with my book to this that means that i can uh, overcome a guardian at the location where i am so there you go and i don't forget that i can exile a card here, so I'm going to use that one now before I forget. So I'm going to exile that card. It's good. Get rid of the fear card. So I think it was a fairly good investment of those resources. Even if we lost the four points, I think we gained more. So we have a compass. We can get two more tablets. We can't get any further up. We can't have the resources to it. Um, okay, we won't get any. So we can remove that one. Uh, we can use this one. I forgot about that. Let's see what happens. We can't get the jewel. Hmm. It's a shame. We have this one, but we can't travel, so we might as well just put that one there. But there's no points for any resources. There's no point in doing that. So I would say that is as good as it gets this time. So let's count up the score. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna move these. We're gonna go through our deck. Don't have to do anything here. We have to keep the things there. We have our we overcame five guardians. That's pretty good. And we got some points here as well. So let's just pick out the cards that use points. Remove the other ones. Okay, we start off by looking at the research here. So um, let's do here and we do a solo bolt this is a max okay so 23 points for the solo bolt here for that location 
uh, and then me I will get 16 plus 10 so 26 it's pretty good next I didn't get any of these so I will just scratch that one out but the solar bot got one so that's two points we look at the monkey idols so scoring our monkey idols I will get um uh, five 15 points and the here they will get three and these are only worth two of them because they're each one so it's six plus that's nine that's 15 so it's equal score there and then we look in all the over guardians five uh 25 sorry and five here then we go through the cards and we count two three four five eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i have start with plus l zero one three five seven nine ten oh it was yes i put myself 11 here and minus one so zero see 41 76 87 86 minus 1 25 40 45 58 so I took a big win over the solar bot maybe it was too easy but I had the sort of three red tiles which is sort of a little above, above my, um, average difficulty but I think we had a fairly good um, income of resources maybe we able to do a lot of research uh, in in the temple i think it's called so we got both of these uh, that's pretty quite a lot of points we overcame a lot of guardians which was also gives a lot of points uh so yeah this is a i think it's a fun and, and challenging solo uh, game where you uh, need to keep a lot of things uh, spread yourself out do a lot of things and i do like the things that that the artifacts become more and more and the items because it becomes uh, less available uh, i do like this i think this is a pretty fun cool twist of uh, using the free actions to get resources but you also use points or you can keep them and get a lot more points so we have to value that and yeah i think this is a solid game uh, looking forward to playing it more and also with friends once this covid situation is over hopefully we can start playing it together with some other guys as well so for now thanks uh, for watching i hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know in the comments uh, all the misses i did probably a lot but also um, uh, there's an other side of the board which is another uh, bit different in the explore track and there's also uh, a newly released solo mode through the publisher check game edition where they launch a, a, a new solo mode where you get a different challenge so that could be fun maybe to see okay Take care, everyone, and have a good one. Cheers. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.